2022. Real news real quick. Moderate U.S. Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia announced this morning he intends to vote for President Biden's Supreme Court pick, Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson, essentially guaranteeing her confirmation. Manchin said Judge Jackson's record and career are exemplary. President Biden visited American troops at the Polish border with Ukraine this morning and criticized Russia's so-called war of choice. Vladimir Putin has announced that May 9th will mark the end of the war in Ukraine. Russia's general staff has confirmed. Russia holds a Victory Day parade in Moscow's Red Square on that date every year to mark Nazi Germany's surrender and the end of World War II. Prime Minister Boris Johnson of Great Britain urged China's Xi Jinping to, to put pressure on, on Russia to end the war in Ukraine during a phone call on Friday. Beijing has sought to strike a balance between its ties with Russia and becoming the subject itself of Western economic sanctions. Russian General Mikhail Mizintsev, dubbed the Butcher of Mariupol, has been heard berating a junior officer for not cutting off the ears of a private who had been caught not wearing his Russian uniform properly in a chilling phone call the Ukrainian military intercepted. Quote, look at that scum standing there, frowning with his bovine eyes, showing me his unhappy face and his stinking mug. What a great guy. House Republican leader Kevin McCarthy called for Congressman Jeff Fortenberry, Republican of Nebraska, to resign from Congress in light of being convicted on three felony charges connected to his statements to the FBI about illegal campaign contributions. Each count carries up to five years in prison, and just a few minutes ago, Nebraska Governor Pete Ricketts joined in the call for the resignation. EU officials last night agreed to rein in big tech companies. The Digital Markets Act would place tighter restrictions on using data for ads, EU official Andreas Schwab said, app developers will get completely new opportunities, will get more access to data, and the online advertising market will become fairer. And finally, eight years after Conrad Roy III took his own life after being coerced into suicide by girlfriend Michelle Carter, the 18-year-old's parents are doing all they can to make sure no other family suffers the way they have. Hulu will release a mini-series, The Girl from Plainville, on March 29th, about his suicide and his girlfriend's trial and brief prison sentence. Conrad's parents want coerced suicide treated as murder. And that's the way the world is. See you next time.